What's up, you guys? It's Marina from Tech News, and finally, I am publishing a new tutorial, which is very cool because uh, I learned how to deploy a full Mernstack application to Azure App Service, and I think it's very useful because um, the tutorials that I was looking for, they mostly use the virtual machines and stuff. It was very complicated. I went through a lot of documentation and uh, articles to actually learn how to deploy it in a very simple way, only 10 steps um, to Azure App Service for free. Okay, hope you like it. Subscribe to my channel and let's go. Okay, so I prepared a project for you. You can go um, to my GitHub. The link is below the video. Here it is called Mern Azure Tutorial, okay? I'll just briefly walk you through the folder structure so I know it can be confusing. Here we have our main server.js file in the root folder, Mern Azure app. Inside the root folder, we have our client folder, like this, inside which we have our source folder with all the other stuff, including the base URL. Okay, let's move on to actually deploying it to Azure App Service. Let me just create a um, steps.txt file here so we can write it down here. I'm also new to Azure, so I um, kind of need some notes. So the first step we're going to do is create a resource group. Uh, this is assuming that you already have an Azure account. And if you do, then you have already your default Azure subscription. Oh, and uh, what, uh, what's left to do is just to create a resource group, create an um, app service plan, and uh, create app service or web app. Okay? We need to create a GitHub repository. We need to connect uh, our GitHub to Azure. Mm. We might need to write, not might, we must write some mini script uh, to, um, for production in our server.js file. And then we're gonna change the base URL to Azure URL. After that, we can build our client static files and uh, push our code to github and finally um, set up env variables in azure so these are basically only only 10 steps to deploy it and it's very easy let's do it now i'm gonna go to my azure portal okay so here is my azure portal this is our home page of Azure portal. I don't have anything here. I literally just created an account and this is a, a default subscription that they create for you. I don't have any resource group, groups or anything. So let's see. Our first step is to create a resource group. Okay, let's search in the search bar for resource groups. Here it is, research, uh, resource groups. And uh, these are default uh, resource groups. We are going to click on Create. And uh, yes, it will be linked to our Azure subscription, the default one. And here we're gonna uh, we're gonna have um, we're gonna provide a name for our resource group, Mern Azure. And I like to call it RG at the end, just because in the later stages it can be very confusing all these names. And usually I use the region West Europe as it's physically closer to where I am. West Europe, where are you? Europe. Oh, where is it? Ah, here it is. Okay, West Europe. And that's it. That's all we need to review and create. A validation pass. So we can click again the Create button. And here you can see in the notifications the best status of your requests in Azure of your actions and you see resource group is created go to resource group but we don't have actually any resources here so let's go back to our steps this is done create app service plan so let's go back to Azure and look for app service 
plans and we can create app service plan. Uh, so again, subscription is the default one. The resource group is the one we just created, Marin Azure RG. The name of this app service plan is going to be Marin Azure App Service Plan. And the operating systems is Windows. Region, as previously I've chosen, West Europe. Here it is. Then we have price and tier. tier. And I'm just going to use the free one for now, okay? Uh, and we can click Review and Create. So let's, cre let's click Create again and see the status of our request. Ta-da! It's created. Super easy. Easy peasy. Okay. So this we can say is done. Create app service, web app. Um, okay, let's search for app service. And we're going to choose this one, app services. And uh, here we're going to click on create app service. Again, the Azure subscription is the same. The resource group is the same we created. Name is going to be Mern Azure app. This is the actual app. Publish uh, code, it's because we're going to push code through GitHub. Runtime stack is, uh, our backend is Node. So I'm going to choose the latest one available here. Operating system Windows, region West Europe. And um, Windows plan is going to be also the free one where we have the shared infrastructure. Uh, click review and create. Mm. Okay, so we can just click another uh, another time the create button and see the status. Ta-da! Our deployment is succeeded. That is amazing. So we can cross it out of our checklist. Done. The next step is great GitHub repo. I meant create. Not sure if it's great. Okay, so for this, let's go to our GitHub. No, oh, GitHub, okay. Sign in. Why are you so slow today? And I'm gonna sign in as Marina Kim 44. By the way, I just noticed that I have 15 followers on GitHub. That is cool. <laughs> okay, let's click on this uh, small arrow and create a new repository. And we will call Marn Azure Tutorial. Uh, da, 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 da. Create repository. And here it is. I'm just going to copy this line here. And let's go back to our VS Code. Now we need to connect GitHub to Azure. So we're going to, to head to our, uh, let's say, let's just click on Microsoft Azure. We have our app service here. Let's go. Let's go there. And uh, what we have here is uh, our overview tab. So if you click browse here, it will actually open the, uh, our web application. But at the moment, it will not display anything because we didn't connect to Azure or to our code. Um, so let's go to the deployment center. And to select the source of the code, it's going to be continuous deployment with GitHub. But we will change the provider to app service build service. Okay. Then we're going to uh, check that the GitHub account is the one we want to use. And I'm signed in as Marina Kim, so it's fine. I'm going to uh, select the organization, which is Marina Kim. The repository we just created is Mern Azure Tutorial and the branch. And we will only have our master branch. Oh, what's up here? Huh, interesting. We just have a repository, maybe that's why. Let's push our code to GitHub. So, <clears throat> for this we're going to say git 
add everything and then we do git commit with a message, I don't know, first commit. And we're going to add our remote origin that I just copied from when we created the repository. And if we check the status, it's working tree clean, so we can just git uh, push origin master. Okay, looks like it has pushed. Let's check. And uh, yeah, here's our code. Let's go back to Azure and maybe now we will have this kind of branch. But I think maybe we need to reload. Yeah, yeah, reload. Let's do it again. Select code source GitHub, change provider to app service build service. Select organization, select repository and select the branch master. Nice. Okay. Save. Uh, here we can see the status, setting up deployment, uh, a successful setup deployment. So actually it will appear here. Maybe when I refresh, yeah, it's pending for now. And you're gonna see the status here, if it's successful or not. And actually every time you push the code to your remote GitHub repository, it's going to be as kind of a deployment item in here. Let's refresh again. And, uh, oh, it's written success. Okay, nice. Let's see. So we connected our GitHub to Azure. This is done. Uh, we pushed code to GitHub and we have done it <laughs> in advance. So now what I would like to do is to write the script for production in server.js file. Let's go to the server.js file and somewhere, um, I don't know, after all the API routes, we're going to have a production script, which will say app.use uh, express.static because we can deploy only the, the static files uh, and they will be located at client slash build folder. We don't have this folder yet in the client folder, but we're going to build our client files and all the static files will be available in the build folder. And another small script we have to write is app.get uh, all routes. So all routes uh, of the app should be using now this kind of static file. We're going to send uh, the HTML index file here. And actually for this, it would be useful to import. Uh, we don't have to install it, but we can just import the path, uh, the path package. So const path equals to require, require path. Hey, path. Okay. And here, uh, as a general API call, we have function Mm, we have a callback function of request and response, a res.send file, which is located at path.resolve. Here we can provide first our current location, so uh, double low dash dear name, and then we can provide mm, a further route, which is client folder. And then we go to build folder and then we go to finally we go to index.html so we send we are sending this index.html file on all routes okay that's it for the production script we can save our server.js file and uh, go to back to our steps and this is done the next step is to change the base URL. Oh yeah, this is important. Because right now, if you go to the source, our base URL is the localhost 3001. <laughs> but actually, if you go to your web app, to overview section, and you click on browse, you're going to see that our URL has 
uh, Azure URL is actually why what's happening. Let's do it again, browse. Well, okay, nevertheless, this is our default domain. We can just copy it here, and this will be our base URL right here. Save. Uh, yeah, but we need to write it like with HTTPS, like this, okay? Save. Save. Okay, change base URL, done. I don't know why we cannot get, okay, we need um, to do a few more steps in order for our content to be actually displayed, for our app to be displayed. So let's proceed with step eight, which is build client static files. Okay. Open up the terminal. I'm gonna clear everything. And what we're gonna do is um, we are going to CD into our client folder and run the script npm run build to build the static files. And now you'll see that the build folder will be created here. Okay, so our build has finished and we can say it's done. So finally, we have to, we have to push, push the code to GitHub once more because now we have this static folder. So let's do this. Uh, let's cd out of the client folder and say git add git commit with a message of, um, I don't know, updated uh, base URL and uh, build static files. Okay. And we can git push remote origin master. And uh, that's it, that is done. We have only last step left. And because we just pushed and uh, we connected our Azure to GitHub, in the deployment center, you're gonna see this last push that we just made. Running deployment commit or whatever it is. Success. So I think now if we go to overview and we actually browse for the app, it's gonna open up our app, but I'll tell you. Let's just check that it's opening. And you see it's working, but if we click on create, the navigation is working, but it's not actually gonna save anything because uh, I'll tell you a secret. <laughs> uh, you have not set up environmental variables. Let's do that. We go to the configuration. Where is it? Uh, in the settings, under the settings, we have the configuration tab. And here we can, let me close it for now. And this, and this. We can just add a new application setting and we should call it the same as we called our environmental variable uh, in the .env file, so Mongo, URI and copy paste the value from your .env file of the, of the Mongo URI. Again, I have a password here, so I'm not going to share it. But you know what I mean. Okay. And click OK. And now we have a new environmental variable here. It means that now if we go to the... Uh, no, we have to save it first. Very important. Save and uh, changes to application settings. We'll restart your application, that's fine. Continue. Successfully updated web app settings. Nice. Now, if we go to the overview and uh, browse our app, and it's working, and you see, it's even connected to the database because it can read from it. And uh, I assume it can also create. Let's do the test from Azure. Test, save to MongoDB, back, and we have it here. It means everything is working just fine. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. And let me know what other tutorials you want to see.